What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I made an interesting discovery today. I wanna to share with you a new security flaw in the latest version of iOS 9.3.1 and 9.3.2, and show you how to get into uh, photos contacts from the lock screen using a modified version of the last bypass. If you guys remember, it was patched almost immediately the next day, and um, the funny thing is, Apple didn't fix the problem. They just patched the symptom. So I'm gonna show you uh, two lock screen bypasses in one, showing you how to do this. It's very, very simple. Um, first off, I'm going to show you I am on 9.3.1. This is my personal iPhone right here. So uh, to the lock screen, here we go. So I'm going to show you I do have a uh, passcode. I do have Touch ID, but I won't be using it for this video. So I'm going to go ahead and activate Siri. Kill it right away. Uh, we're going to go back up to the recent Siri conversation. And uh, let's jump into this tweet right here. Oh, boom. Create a new contact, choose photo. You're in the photos. If you wanna get into the contacts, very simple too. You click right here and create new contact, or whoops, wrong one I meant, add it to existing contact. This glitch does happen too sometimes. So there we go. Now we can see our recent contacts. I'm gonna blur that out because those are my contacts right there. I don't want you to see them. Now, if I go back, you can see I'm still at the lock screen. I never left it. You can uh, go ahead and type in the passcode and get into the actual home screen. So how cool is that? <laughs> that is the exact same bypass, but it includes a second modified bypass. Now this isn't as big of a threat as last time. You can simply disable Siri, and I'm gonna explain why you shouldn't be scared about this, but it still exists right now in 9.3.1. And the whole point of this bypass is that Siri cannot be trusted in 9.3.1, 9.3.2, because she exposes your information that you were just talking to her about from within an unlocked phone. So let me show you more in detail what I'm talking about. Siri, show me my recent emails. Here's an email message. Siri, show me recent calls. You have at least 25 calls. Siri, show me recent notes. Fetching your notes. I found all of your notes. So the idea is that you as an owner can ask Siri all this information. And by the way, I'm blocking it because this is my personal information here. But as soon as you lock your device, anyone can pick up your phone activate Siri and access that information that she showed you that she shouldn't be able to share with anyone else, just like this. So disable Siri and just drag up and all that information is here. So, you know, this isn't something that Siri should show you. And because Apple didn't actually fix the problem, the last bypass, you can access the last bypass through this method. Now, granted, it's unlikely to happen because you do have to search for a specific uh, specific term, gmail.com, uh, an email, but all it really takes is for someone to put an email address in a tweet. And just to show you this still exists on 9.3.2, that bleed through with Siri is still there. Siri, search Twitter for gmail.com. Okay, here are some can lock my device. It is in locked state. Activate Siri. And that information is still shown here. So you can, you know, browse private things that you talked about Siri with earlier now in the uh, lock screen with Siri. So I think this is something that certainly Apple needs to address. And using this little bypass, you can still use the last one to get into people's photos, which is kind of funny. Still there. Search Twitter for gmail.com. Let's see what I can find on Twitter. So with a locked device with that still there, I can go ahead and activate Siri. Drag down and all of the Gmail accounts, if you can access them, you can go ahead and access photos. So let me find one with a valid one right here. And there is that glitch again. So this is like a really, really tiny version of it, but it still works. There we go, guys. So I thought, you know, I wanted to share this with you guys. I would disable Siri if I were you right now, 9.3.1, but the bypass is still possible. Apple is pretty lazy. They didn't fix the problem. They fixed the symptom of it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Uh, stay tuned for many more videos to come. Peace.